This video is gonna be about the 10 best side hustles for the time poor in 2024. And since I respect your time so much, I'm also gonna make this a very fast video, right? Because I used to be extremely time poor myself. I used to work as a pharmacist. I was working as a pharmacist during the pandemic, which as you can imagine was insanely busy and insanely stressful and I did not have very much time. And I started a side hustle during the pandemic that ended up making me over 300K per month. So I'm gonna talk about some of the side hustles that I think are the best and what you should potentially start yourself. And we're gonna get into that right after you gently tap the like button to show respect for me respecting you or you can just cheers the like button as well that works as well all right so first one on the list is going to be kind of a hilarious one but i always like to start with these funny ones and that is going to be selling worm poop yes you heard that right selling worm poop what you do here is you buy a bunch of earthworms you set up a terrarium for them basically like an earthworm farm then you collect their poop and you sell it to gardeners farmers and horticulture enthusiasts and these are specifically people who value organic growing processes right so as this reddit user says he sells worm poop he feeds them table scraps and then they shit out the best fertilizer in the world and worm poop generally speaking sells for about three dollars a pound. So this is a very passive way of making money. You can make some extra money on the side doing this. You could even turn it into a full-blown operation. So I thought this one was funny. You can definitely make money with it. It's going to be probably pretty hard to make, you know, a significant amount of money, but I'm going to go ahead and give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, guys, I was able to earn a full-time income from YouTube and you can earn a full-time income from YouTube as well. And on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be hosting a live training where I'm going to be revealing the five biggest secrets on growing and monetizing your YouTube channel. And you can do this with less than one hour of work per day. So I'm basically gonna be giving you a free roadmap to growing your YouTube channel. And I'm gonna cover everything you need to know from choosing your niche to choosing video ideas. And then the important parts of the process when it comes to making YouTube videos. And I'll take you through the steps and strategies that help me achieve a full-time income from YouTube within a few months. And during the live training, I'm actually gonna be giving away a free mini course that took me a ridiculous amount of time to make and I'm going to be answering any questions that you have about YouTube with a live Q&A and there are limited seats so make sure to sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below and I'll see you there. Next one on the list is going to be niche tutoring. So if you're time poor, that probably means you're working really hard. There's a good chance you're also in a good job. And that means you could likely tutor people on very specific subjects. So let's say you were a pharmacist like me, for instance, you could tutor people on the pharmacy college admissions test or the PCAT. That's exactly what I did when I was in college and I made over $100 per hour. Now, realistically, there's not that many people out there that asked for my services. And so I'd only tutor people a few times a month but that was still a significant amount of money every month, especially considering that I was a college kid. And this is exactly what you can do as well. You can tutor people on something very specific that's extremely valuable and they will pay you a good amount of money for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Something very similar to this would be career coaching. So this is basically, again, if you're in a good career or even if you're just in an entry level career, but it's one that a lot of people wanna get into, you can offer this. And basically what you do is you tutor people on the quickest and easiest way to get into that career themselves. So imagine if you were to go back in time to when you just discovered that career and you were able to tell yourself exactly what to do in order to get into it. You probably would have saved yourself a ton of time, effort, and money. Well, you can do that for other people as well and they can pay you hundreds of dollars an hour in many cases. So that's another excellent one if you are time poor. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that one a nine out of 10 opportunity score as well. Another one that's similar to this is making resumes. And again, you want to be very specific about this. You want to help people make resumes that are related to your career. And because of the fact that you're in the career, you're gonna have a much better idea of what looks good and doesn't look good on a resume. And then you can either create the resumes for them or coach them on how to do the resumes themselves. And again, you can charge hundreds of dollars per resume and they do most of the work for you and then you just make some changes at the end. I know people that have started seven figure businesses doing this, so this is a legit business that you can start, but you can also just make some extra money on the side. So this one gets a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And now the next one is the one that I did in order to escape my nine to five and have financial location and time independence and travel the world. I haven't even been back to the US in two years. I've been traveling all over the world and that is starting a YouTube channel. So YouTube is, in my opinion, the best 
best social media platform to make money on. It actually doesn't take that long to make YouTube videos. You literally just have to either share what you already know, so your expertise that you already know, or if you're not an expert on anything, you can just share your journey of becoming an expert on something. And people love following along to those channels that basically share what they're learning. And it doesn't take that long to do that, maybe just a few hours a week. And the potential rewards are massive. So there's nearly 500 people in the United States alone that work full time on YouTube. And that is a massive amount of people. That's almost the same amount of people as an entire country. And if you take that globally, it basically is bigger than some countries. And these are people that are making a full-time income from YouTube. So you can definitely dedicate a few hours a week to doing this, and a year later, who knows what's gonna happen. You might be making a full-time income from YouTube as well. And this is something I did myself. I was incredibly busy as a pharmacist, but I just spent a few hours every single week making my YouTube channel. And within a very short period of time, I replaced my pharmacy income, and then I got to 30K per month, and then I got to 100K per month, and then I got beyond that. And I've also helped a bunch of other people start successful YouTube channels channels as well. For instance, Josh was working at a very prestigious company, Microsoft, and he was working really hard. He started his YouTube channel on the side, grew it, and now he makes over 186K per month. So he's absolutely crushing it. And by the way, you can check out some free training down in the description as well as the pinned comment below on how to grow and make money from your YouTube channel. And additionally, I do take a few coaching clients every month and you have to apply to that. It'll be in the exact same link down below. But I only work with people who are very serious about growing and making money from their YouTube channel because I can only work with a few people a month. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, YouTube gets a perfect 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. Next is going to be selling unused stuff. So you could sell your own stuff that's just laying around your house or laying in storage and make a good amount of money from it. A lot of people that do this make thousands and thousands of dollars. And they just have a lot of stuff laying around that they're never gonna use and it's just gonna collect dust. So you might as well sell it and make it useful to others. So this is an obvious one, but you know, I can't tell you how many people could absolutely do this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Another one is you could flip items. So if you're familiar with certain items, for instance, let's use couches as an example or furniture, you can just kind of look at a couch or look at a piece of furniture and you know approximately how much it costs because you're familiar with the market. You can easily buy and sell these things and make a ton of money. There are people out there that flip furniture that make hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Like couch flipping, for instance, is huge in the US because people will buy these couches brand new for $5,000, $10,000. And then a few years later, it gets a little dirty and you know they just throw it away or they sell it for basically nothing. And you can just go in, clean it up a little bit, post it online, and then sell it for 50% of what they originally bought it for. It's extremely lucrative. And flipping in general is extremely lucrative. I've been doing this since I was a teenager. It's one of the oldest side hustles known to man. Was good back then, it's always gonna be good. It just takes a lot of patience. So for instance, you could buy a car if you're familiar with the prices of cars, you know you're getting a good deal, let's say you buy it for $2,000, and then you sell it a few months later for 3,500. And it basically just sat there and you didn't have to do any work. So yeah, flipping is amazing, awesome side hustle. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be renting out your car. So you can do this using an app like Turo. And if your car is just sitting there while you're at work or it's sitting there over the weekend and you're barely even using it, or if you have multiple cars and you don't even use one of them, might as well rent it out and make some money. And you can make between 50 and $100 per day in many cities. And Turo claims that the average annual income generated for renting out one car is usually $10,000 $516. So yeah, this is another really good one. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is going to be either renting out your unused space or renting out household appliances or tools. And you can do this using neighbor.com. And there's other websites out there like rentmy.com or rentmyequipment or uds.com. Wow. All these, you can do the same stuff. You can rent your stuff out. And yeah, renting your unused space, like let's say you have a bunch of space in your basement, it's not being used. Storage is really expensive. And so people in your area can just store their stuff there and save a little bit of money versus a traditional storage space. And since you're not using the space anyways, you might as well rent it out. Same thing with tools or appliances or random stuff that's laying around your garage. You can rent that stuff out while you're not using it. And this doesn't take very much of your time, effort, or money, but it can be a really good source of passive or semi-passive income. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And the next one is going to be real estate. So this is one of the oldest ways that people have been making money for the last hundred years. You basically buy a property, a lot of the time you'll get a mortgage on it and you pay, let's say five to 20% down, and then you rent it out to people. This is a good way to make cash flow, accrue equity, and save money on taxes. So this is another really good side hustle. Tons of channels out there that talk about how to do real estate, but obviously it's a really good one. I'm gonna go 
ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I made a great video on the side hustle ideas tier list where I put a bunch of different great ideas for side hustles. And you can check that out by clicking right here.